Let's learn a little bit more about fractions. A fraction can be written as a multiplication expression of a whole number and a unit fraction. For example, let's take a look at the fraction 3 7 Now what we have here is a model, and this model over on the left-hand side represents 3 7 because this model is divided into seven equal parts, and three of those parts are shaded in. Now 3 7 contains three 1 7 pieces, right? Because if one of these panels is filled in of the 7, the fraction is 1 7. And three of these combine together to make the fraction 3 7. What you can do now is rewrite 3 7 as a multiplication expression. So you would have 3 times the unit fraction here, which is 1 7. Right, because there are three one seventh parts, and this is equal to three sevenths. Now let's explore what happens if you're multiplying a whole number by a fraction that is not a unit fraction. So in three sevenths, we were working with the unit fraction one seventh. Now let's see what happens when you're going to multiply by a fraction that's not a unit fraction. Okay, let's talk about the multiplication of the whole number three times the fraction three fifths. Now this is not a unit fraction because the numerator is not 1. So you can think of 3 times 3 fifths as a repeated addition sentence of 3 fifths added to itself 3 times. Now what were to happen if you wanted to find the sum? Okay, so again these are all like fractions because the denominator is 5 for each fraction. And what you would do then is add the numerators. When you add 3 to itself 3 times, you get 9. So 3 times 3 fifths is equal to 3 fifths plus 3 fifths plus 3 fifths, which is then equal to 9 fifths. Now let's take a look at this with a model. Here's the model for this multiplication. You have 3 3 fifths uh, fraction strips. And so if you add these all up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we see that 9 parts and each whole is divided into 5 equal parts. So we get the same fraction when we look at it in the model. Now something else that you can think about is, let's talk about the fraction 9 fifths now, right? So let me make some space. 9 fifths can be written as 9 times the unit fraction 1 fifth. And again, recall that 3 times 3 fifths gives you the addition sentence 3 fifths plus 3 fifths plus 3 fifths. Now when you want to multiply a whole number by a fraction, what you do is you multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction and keep the denominator the same. So what do we get when we do that? If we multiply 3 times 3, we get 9. And then we keep the denominator the same, 5. So again, we get the same answer. We got 9 fifths by doing the repeated addition up here. We got 9 fifths by checking the model. And we also learned how we can directly multiply 3 times 3 fifths. In this lesson, you just learned how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Happy solving!